Today was a day when people all over the world took part in thousands of events to demand world leaders get tough on climate change. CTV's David Kincaid now on how Vancouver marked the occasion. She's in a jam, we want to do what we can, so we're singing out for all it's worth. The event was dubbed Bridge to a Cool Planet, so it was hardly surprising they chose to hold it smack in the middle of a bridge. The Canby Street Bridge, in fact. She's in a jam, we want to do what we can. Thousands of people turned up and most of them brought signs, all promoting slightly different areas of concern. We're talking about the uh, tar sands. I'm just representing myself. There may be climate change going on and that at least we could make an effort. I support rail for the valley. And my issue today is that we need to elect government that takes climate change seriously. There has to be massive investment in renewable energy. I'm with the anti war movement, but I'm uh, against global warming. The common theme here is all these people want to see the federal government's feet held to the global warming fire, provided the fire is fueled by a green, non-polluting, renewable energy source. We want Ottawa to go to the climate talks in Copenhagen this December and be a strong leader. We want them to commit to reducing emissions by half by 2020 and then come back to enact the policies to get that done. Most of the people taking part in today's rally see climate change as an intellectual challenge. We are here today to get our voices to be heard. We are here today to make sure that our leaders get the message. 17-year-old Christina Ora, a Solomon Islander, has lived through climate change. I've seen my, my people displaced. I've seen how people suffer because of the impact of climate change. I, I have seen how food is harder to grow, how fresh water is, uh, there's lack of fresh water. I've seen it. That's why I'm here. With that, they unfurled their giant banner and made their way across the bridge. Whether or not it is to a cool planet remains to be seen. David Kincaid, CTV News, Vancouver.